Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeball here as always guys, and welcome to the next NPA battle guys, and I say guys a lot, I know, it's a bad habit, I really gotta stop. Anyways guys, <laughs> I said it again. Alright, anyways, people, yeah, there we go. Uh, this battle was against Joe and the Seattle Sea Kings, Jodor, Jodor underscore, most famously known as. And uh, this is actually post-commentated uh, for the reason that... Uh, I was really, like, I had a bad day when we did the battle, but I had to do it then because I didn't want to put Joe in a bad position where he wouldn't have time to battle, blah, 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 it would all be my fault because uh, I had a bad day. And I just didn't feel like, you know, I didn't feel like a uh, live recording. So we're going to go ahead, hop into the battle, go ahead, do my best post-record or post-commentate. Uh, I'm not the greatest at it, but um, yeah, I'm going to try and do my best. Um, as you can see on my team, we have my Star Raptor, Yellow Bird. We have my Venusaur, Bulby, I think. We have Elizabeth, the Needle Queen, which is the one with Ice Beam. We have Dragonite, Cuddles. And we have Pollen, the uh, Florges. And of course, I'm Mega Meta Gem. He's rocking the Latios, or I'm sorry, Latios, the Celebi, the Gliscor, the Jellicent, the, uh, what's it called? What's this thing called? Uh, Concordor, Conkeldor, whichever one. And the Weavile, fucking. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't remember what I lead on with this. It's not unprofessional. Also, guys, no layout, because I want to try something new. Uh, I think the layout can look a little bad from time to time, so I'm going to try it just like this, see how it works out. Um, hopefully, it'll still look nice and good for you guys. I'm going to try and make a new layout for the next battle. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight into the battle, guys. I said guys again. What's my problem? Anyways, Joe is issuing the challenge. Oh, yeah. I lit off with a yellow bird because he has the, uh, what's it called? He has that one attack, U-turn. So, I lit off with the uh, Yellow bird. He's gonna lead out with his Weavile, and I'm like, yo, Ice Shard's a thing, but at the same time, he might overpredict. Um, so I go ahead and use U-Turn, and it's gonna actually get a good amount of damage off. Not quite gonna kill. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back out. And I'm like, yo, he definitely went for, like, Ice Punch or Icicle Crash. Let's go into Dragonite and get that Weakness Policy proc. Um, so I do that. It could have been the world's dumbest play, but I did it. I straight up went into Dragon Dragonite. And, uh... This play, I was so close to thinking about going for the Dragon Dance, which would have been probably the world's most amazing prediction ever. Um, but instead, I went for extreme speed to be safe to kill it. Uh, but he's going to go ahead and switch out into King, which is going to be his Jellicent. And uh, obviously, extreme speed's not going to affect him. But, you know, it's it's good. It's all whatever. Um, we're going to hit him with the Dragon Claw this turn, which is going to do a lot of damage, but not quite take him out. He's going to live with like 3 HP or some shit. I don't remember. Uh, but he's going to use Scald, and lucky for us, it actually doesn't kill. So that was really good. Uh, he's going to take some leftovers back, uh, heal up a bit. And so I'm like, yo, I'll just Dragon Dance again. I mean, Dragon Claw again. Uh, so we're going to Dragon Claw. It's going to take him out. Um, unfortunately, at this point, we're at really low health. Uh, so that's not good at all. Puts us in a bad position. Uh, his Weavile might have Fake Out, but I don't think it does because it would have used it before. So he goes into his Glass score, Joe Money. And I'm just like, well, we're going to die. Why, might as well just Dragon Claw. Uh, so we do that. Doesn't that almost half, but he's going to Toxic us, uh, which is going to take us out this turn. So that's depressing, but it's also fine. Uh, not the biggest deal. Also, guys, I I, I rose the bit rate, so hopefully this looks a little bit better. Anyways, Cuddle's going to go down, um, which isn't good, but at the same time, could be worse. Uh, so I'll go into Elizabeth here because I have the Ice Beam, and I'm hoping he doesn't know that because I do have the two Needle Queens. Uh, but he's going to withdraw, probably expecting the Ice Beam. Um, otherwise, why would I go into it? He's going to go into his Conkledor, which is going to eat it up because it's most likely Assault Vested. Probably, probably definitely Assault Vested. Considering it's not a guts, not a guts one, um, so it's not gonna do any damage. But I'm just like yellow earth power. I have nothing to switch into. And uh, yeah, lucky for me, we get a crit. Doesn't quite take it out, but he's gonna ice punch us, and uh, it's not gonna kill, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. So he's gonna mock punch, and uh, yeah, we live it because it's a poison type, and we're pretty defensive. So we're gonna go ahead and use the ice beam just in case he's switching to something else. I knew he was gonna kill. Um, so we just ice beamed yellow. And it did well. Killed. Or took out the Conqueror. So I'm just going to go to Latias. And I'm, uh, I, I know that I want to save my Needle Queen because Gliscor and Ice Beam and stuff. So I switch out and go straight into Pollen. Um, but then I'm like, well, probably a Psy Shock. And yes, the Latias is carrying the Psy Shock. So, um, unfortunately, that's going to do a lot of damage. But uh, we're going to survive, but it doesn't really matter because it's definitely going to be faster than us. So, unfortunately, Pollen doesn't really get to do much this battle just kind of dies, uh, which sucks, but you win some, you lose some, am I right? Yeah, so Pollen's gonna go down, Pollen hasn't honestly been doing too well, I might look for trying to get something different, 
maybe trading. Um, but yeah, it is Life Orb. It's just going to do a lot of damage. But I'm like, dude, Yellow Bird time. Um, I was thinking about going for the U-turn here, but I decided to just go to Double Edge because of the damage. We're Reckless. We're Choice Scarf. We're going to outspeed no matter what. And my god, it did so much damage. It did so much damage. My god, yeah. It did a lot. So he's going to send out Thuggin' again. And I'm like, oh god, Ice Shard. We're fucked. Um, might as well just maybe over predict switch something. Yeah, so I went for double edge again and lucky for me He did not go for ice shard. Uh, it actually turns out after the battle. I found out that he didn't even have ice shard So that sucks. I believe he had low kick and he was trying to swap it out But he couldn't find a hard skill. And he was gonna send he's gonna send it back in the glide score and uh, I go ahead and use double edge again It's gonna do a good amount of damage. It's a crit crit probably most likely definitely mattered uh, Glass Core is a huge defensive defensive wall. Uh, so that could have been the battle right there, to be honest. He's going to now send up his Celebi, and I'm like, oh god, Brave Bird would be better. Um, I was thinking about switching out, but I decided, decided just to go for Double Edge, like you saw right there, and hit the recoil. Giga Drain's going to do damage, but not... No, no, it does kill us, I'm sorry. It does kill us. Um, so you get some health back, and we're dead, which sucks. Uh, switching out... And then sacking something and going for the Brave Bird might have been the better play in the long run. Um, I just wanted to be safer. I don't know. So he's going to take some leftovers recovery. And I'm like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. So I go into Bulby. Uh, fearing the Psychic Attack, which would definitely be bad. Uh, but he goes for the Thunder Wave. So I'm like, Ugh, God, you're going to try and hack me and then just kill me. Just kill me. Just kill me, man. Just do Psychic. Uh, but we get Para Hacks the first turn. Not the biggest deal in the world, but still kind of sucks. Didn't make too much of a difference, though. So he's going to take back some health leftovers, and we're going to, er, yeah, he's going to get you drain, I'm sorry. Um, it's not very effective, and I believe we can have a sludge bomb, right, right, right. Yeah, we're going to get off a sludge bomb here, and so I'm not worried at all. Um, he gets poisoned, just to add insult to injury, and he's going to take his leftovers recovery, but unfortunately for him, the poison is going to be enough to take out Cell, the Celebi. Uh, we're going to take our Black Sludge Recovery, and yeah, Cell is down for the count. So guys, that was the NPA battle. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like, and uh, yeah, check out Joe's content below, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. He's a fantastic guy, super nice guy, really good pal of mine. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Peace, Pokeballer out. Peace the fuck out. See ya.